More than a dozen suspected members of several Minneapolis street gangs have been charged with a number of federal crimes. Coordination between local, county, and federal authorities resulting in one of the largest roundups of violent suspects this year. Our Paul Bloom joins us with the latest from downtown Minneapolis on this. Paul? Randy, good evening to you. We saw the authorities from every level, really, of the criminal justice system presenting a united front here at the federal courthouse on Wednesday. The announcement of charges that included fentanyl, trafficking, uh, firearms violations, and possession of machine guns. We are working together with our law enforcement partners and our community members to take our street back. We don't want it. We don't want people living in fear. We that is Hennepin County Sheriff Dewana Witt joining her local and federal partners today announcing sweeping arrests of more than a dozen local gang members, the lows, the highs, the bloods. Authorities contend this effort is all about going after those who are causing so much of the gun violence and illegal drug sales on city streets and beyond. They singled out this man, Ohaji Walker, describing Walker as a leader of the Skits Squad. That's a so-called Lowe's gang operating up on the north side. He was picked up in recent days. A ghost gun reportedly found in his vehicle. Law enforcement believe he was inciting further violence by encouraging retaliation for the slang of one of his gang members. His alleged quote to his crew the night he was picked up, quote, get outside and get active. He has an extensive and violent criminal history in this city and is unfortunately seen by some as a role model. He is not. Role models are not suspected of being involved in executing a person in front of a school bus full of kids. Role models do not have a 10-year history of arrests for robbery and multiple weapons violations. This is the second large roundup of Minneapolis gang members just this year. You may remember I was here back in May when federal authorities announced indictments and charges totaling 45 gang members. Just in those few months that have passed, three of those gang members have pleaded guilty. There's also been one guilty verdict returned by a local uh, jury. The hope is this group is also now headed to prison for so long, long time. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.